Hello everyone, this is The Order. Welcome back to The Order. I'm Celtic Templar. And today, y'all, we are getting into... <laughs> yeah, that's right. We're getting back into the Galaglass. Now today, y'all, we're actually going to be covering the 13th century Lightfoot Galaglass. Or as they're also known as the Plaidfoot Galaglass. Now, there are different variations on their names. Uh, some accounts of their names retrofit them with... Uh, different variations. But we can actually just call them the Gal Glass Levy. Now, many of y'all pretty much are probably wondering, Templar, what is a Gal Glass Levy, you might add? <laughs> I, I could already hear that. Yeah. Uh, a Gal Glass Levy is, well, a levy unit. They are the Gal Glass unit that were of a light footed and of a common folk. In fact, they were actually given the nickname the Common Gallo Glass, seeing for the fact that one, the Gallo Glass units like this were of little armor. And some accounts do state, though, the Gallo Glass did wear, uh, the Gallo Glass levies did wear mail, but it would probably only be a, that of a coin. And I could see why, because this equipment would be expensive. And the Gallo Glass levy were from poor Irish farmlands. And pretty much our understanding though is that the levy units of the Galagos would have probably either one come from Scotland or Ireland. And were probably of poor farmer units. There are many accounts also that state that they were also mistaken for Irish kerns at the early period. The only difference from them and Irish kerns is that the Galagos, like this, wore padded armor and probably a helmet. Now there are some accounts that also state that they did not wear helmets at all. I don't know if that's true or not, though, it's the thing. Now, the Galaglass Levy, though, would have fought in a type of formation different than that of the other Galaglass. Now, if y'all have not seen my last video on the 13th century Galaglass, I highly recommend checking that out, because one, we covered that of the equipment that was used by heavy shock units, which would have been in the front lines. However, the Gallo Glass levies would have actually been used as skirmishing units, or as well, units that would attack the flanks of their opponents. In other words, imagine, say, a band of Irish, uh, Irish or Scottish levy units that, which would attack the flank from the side. Or as well, there's a forested unit. Guess what? You're going to end up getting attacked from the from the side by, by a forested unit. So, what would be the most common uh, thing they would have probably used? Well, due to the fact the levy units would have been that of well levies and would have been, would have been recruited from say farm country or something like that. Here's the thing. I explained in my uh, last Galaglass video on how to become a Galaglass. And that was actually to face off against a, another Galaglass member. And in doing so, you actually had to use a the shaft of a, an axe like this to prove yourself. The thing is, this still doesn't mean you're a Galaglass until uh, you become, well, a full member. And in doing so, you also got to pay to make the axe head. Now there are some accounts that stated though they used farming implement axes like this one right here and just put them on top of pole arms such as that. So it could make sense because this does have a good heft to it. Because yeah, this is still a dangerous weapon. They would have also commonly carried a dagger or knife with them. And for hunting, they would have used spears. Though this would still be rare though. So I hear many people already asking, but Templar, what about the battle axe? Well, as I said, this they would have to pay for. The same with mail. So only the most wealthy Galaglass could probably afford it. There are some accounts that also state that the Levy Galaglass would have also used a buckler-like shield. So probably a round shield like this. But what they would have used it as, they wouldn't have used it as, well, a normal shield would. They would have used it to block a weapon. In other words, say for example, I was a Levy Gallo Glass, and say for example, I'm on the battlefield, because what I'm going to use this type of shield for? I'm going to use it for a defense, like this, while I just hurl javelins at you. Now, if 
that comes to a different type of form in the battlefield, for example, like say, I am going to be uh, fighting you one-on-one -on -one and such, or I'm charging at you with a two-handed axe, I would use this as a shield like this. So in other words, just imagine getting hit on the head over like this while you're thrusting into my shield. That is kind of scary, just thinking about it. But most Galaglass, uh, Levy Galaglass probably couldn't afford this, so they probably mostly use the common axe. There are also some accounts I have actually read that state that the Levy Galaglass used uh, archery on the battlefield. But, as I said, that is very hard to understand if it was true or not, seeing to the fact they were also put in charge of the Irish Kern units. So, this might be a myth, maybe not. We have little information to go on. But, why don't you see me move around, and we'll see what you think, shall we?
rundown of me moving around. <laughs> so, so, me moving this equipment, I feel light and I feel almost a little fatigued because right now it's summer. Don't know what time you're watching this, so yeah, or where you're watching this, but here in Texas, when the heat comes in the summer, get indoors. <laughs> but yeah, the Levy Galaglass, as you saw, were light footed men and warriors. In fact, this is probably why. Some scholars end up calling them the light foot or the plaid foot. Though there are many names that go on with them. So, what is pretty much y'all's favorite? Because this is a list of the names they were given. But, yeah. But the levy galaglass, or the plaid foot galaglass as I like to call them, were, well, pretty much light footed. There are some accounts that stated that they fought without any footwear. Now, I don't know if this is true or not, but this is just what I've read. And some accounts do state by the time of the 14th and 15th century, we then get later on equipment that they would have probably worn. But there's still little evidence to prove what they could have looked like and what they could have uh, fought like. Seeing to the fact that they fought in skirmish ranks, but by the later periods, the uh, Levy Galaglass were mostly used as shock combat units. In other words, they would charge in and charge out again, using Danax like weapons like this. So just imagine me charging at you from the side, and you don't expect it, and you're pretty much gone. Now, what do y'all think of the light footed Galaglass? Do you think they should get more reputation than what they are pretty much given because there's hardly any evidence we can actually use about it. But let me know in the comments below of what type of warrior in history you all want me to cover next. And hopefully soon you will see our other videos on the Gal Glass series. Anyways guys, like and subscribe for more and as well click that bell button for notifications when the next video comes up. And as well also check out our community area whenever we get done with the series. Because when we get done with the series we will end up doing a uh, voting poll on historical warriors from history because I want y'all to uh, well be part of the channel I want y'all to uh, explain which warrior you want me to do first but let me know in the comments below of what warrior in history y'all want me to do next and hopefully soon we will get right into it anyways guys this has been Celtic Templar hope to see y'all in the next one have a great day y'all mm -hmm.